Hoover, Service, Zanussi, Indesit, Candy, Electra, AEG, Mila, Faber, White Westinghouse, Frida, Frigidaire, Kelvinator. These manufacturers sell a million machines every year. Each manufacturer has staked his reputation on being able to give you the cleanest possible wash. They have one vital component in common. This one. Aerial Automatic. The vital component installed in a million new machines every year. Barbers, where you come from, boy? <laughs> to this coffee place. You still live someplace, boy? No. Put life in your equipment. Long life. Ever ready gold seal. The heart of the machine. Who brings you turbo power with revolutionary turbo action, giving you more suction than ever before in an upright cleaner, reactivating the fibers of your carpet, and now who's taken five pounds off Britain's best-selling cleaner range? Turbo power from Hoover. Who better? Uh, your Aunt Agatha, sir. What, hey, Aunt? <laughs> Have a sherry. Splendid. Bring me a cream sherry, Jeeves. Is this a cream sherry, Aunt? Poppycock. Cream sherry is dark brown. Always has been, always will be. Excuse me a moment, madam. Actually, a relative. Croft original, with its light, delicate quality, is quite the thing nowadays. <laughs> it is not my thing. Ah, that's more like it, Jeeves. I say, Jeeves, where did you get that from? From the kitchen, sir. I understand they use it in the trifle. Oh, Jeeves. Croft original pale cream sherry. One instinctively knows when something is right. To prove the new Mr. Muscle range tackles the filthiest of jobs with plenty of muscle, we gave it to someone with none. It will devour the greasiest oven. Cold. It restores to new the grimiest of tiles and grunting. In fact, however stubborn a job, it's so powerful it even cuts down on elbow grease. Mr. Muscle loves the jobs you hate. Morning. The chef in charge of Finder's Crispy Pancakes takes his job very seriously. Whether he's inspecting ingredients or studying serving suggestions, he never stops. He's even been known to take his work home with him. Finder's Crispy Pancakes. The finest food, frozen. Whenever your child has a cold or blocked up nose, put a few drops of Carvol on his night clothes before he goes to sleep. Daddy's got a cold too, Daddy. Carvol's soothing vapors will help him to breathe more easily and help him sleep normally, which means everyone can have a good night's sleep. Carvol, for noses and doses. You know, the Wish You Were Here team get a bite, but I know one place they won't be going. We won't be going to the island on top of the world. However, we will be whisking you there at 1.30 this afternoon because that's the, the Disney movie offering. But now it's time for the news. In 20 minutes, the Thames area picture, but first the world news from ITN at 1 o'clock. The News at One from ITN with Leonard Parkin. Hello, good afternoon. A make-believe Prime Minister and his fictional senior civil servant, Jim Hacker and Sir Humphrey Appleby from the TV series Yes, Prime Minister, star in the New Year Honours. Both are made CBEs. As usual, there are honours in the real political world, in sport and in the arts. At Chessent in Hertfordshire, Peter Johann Chimlowski has been remanded in custody on a charge of abducting a girl of 19, Catherine Anger, on December the 19th. He was arrested after a car crash in Norfolk on Monday. And among today's other stories, the blow to South Africa as foreign firms pull out. Ramblers say farmers' sprays could poison them. 
and a snip at the tailors at the prices of 50 years ago. Stars of the Yes Prime Minister television series, Mrs. Thatcher's favourite programme, topped the New Year honours list. Paul Eddington, better known as Jim Hacker, and Nigel Hawthorne, his smooth-talking Mandarin, Sir Humphrey Appleby, are made CBs. Prime Minister Hacker, who's in Australia on an eight-month tour, said he was very pleased, and he even congratulated his troublesome civil servant on his award. 850 people in the arts, entertainment, politics and sports world are honoured, but it was one Prime Minister's recognition of almost a colleague which makes the star billing. The award of CBEs to actors Paul Eddington and Nigel Hawthorne, the latest honours for the Prime Minister's favourite television programme. Last year she even made a guest appearance. I've got an idea. Uh, oh, an idea? Oh, uh... <laughs> yes, yes, fine. Yes, yes, Prime. An Good. idea, Prime Minister? <laughs> yes, it's all very simple. I want you to abolish economists. <laughs> abolish economists, Prime Minister? Yes, abolish economists, and quickly. All of them, Prime Minister. <laughs> Here's all of them. Oh, I was very pleased, of course. I was delighted. I was particularly pleased, of course, that Nigel Hawthorne got the same thing. It wouldn't have been right, I don't think, if one had come to without the other. As you go around, do you find yourself being treated as a, as a minister of the Crown? Well, the curious thing is that the higher up the political scale you go, uh, the nearer to a head of state, that is, the more likely they are to accept me as a colleague. The man in the, man in the street doesn't do that. Field Marshal Sir Edwin Bramall, former Chief of Defence Staff, now Lord Lieutenant of Greater London, is one of only two new life peers. The other is former Labour Minister Sir Woodrow Wyatt, now an outspoken newspaper columnist and chairman of the Horse Race Tote Board. Bernard Ashley, husband of Laura Ashley, who since his wife's death has been running their fashion and design group, is knighted. There's recognition too for the bravery of PC George Hammond. Stabbed while trying to foil a robbery, his life saved when fellow officers donated 120 pints of blood for transfusions. The award, um, I really think it's for every policeman that actually puts themselves in a position table where they could get hurt. But I was, I, really, I couldn't believe it. Another police constable, Harry Friend from Glamorgan, who's been foster father to 21 children, is awarded the British Empire Medal. Locally, he has another title. Now, the papers are full of it this morning. They're calling you super dad, whatever. How are you going to face the kids out there in Llan Braddock, known as super dad? <laughs> it's not going to make any difference to me because I'll still be uh, Mr. Friend to them, I hope, but anyway. In the arts, Iris Murdoch, the novelist and playwright, becomes a dame. And Simon Rattle, brilliant young conductor of the Birmingham Symphony Orchestra, gets a CBE. As does the prolific Yorkshire playwright, Alan Akebourne. I'm, I'm never one to shyly refuse honours. I, mean, I, I grabbed it with both hands. Uh, I think particularly since um, being in the arts, uh, I think every honour that the arts gets is, 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 is one more argument for getting more fine funding. I mean, there's, a, there's an ulterior motive there somewhere. Monsieur Georges Sanegre, the devoted butler, who remained with the Duchess of Windsor until her death in Paris, is also honoured today. The Queen has awarded him an honorary Royal Victorian Medal, a personal gift from the Sovereign recognising his services. In sport, although Nigel Mansell hit the headlines all summer, in the end just losing the Formula One World Championship, his Williams team won the Constructors' Prize for the third time. The man behind that team, Frank Williams, paralysed in a car crash in March, today is honoured with a CBE. In seven years, his Didcot-based operation has won 31 Grand Prix. In a sport dominated by overseas drivers over the past decade, at least the cars at the top have been British. I mean, Derek Bell once drove for Frank Williams, but soon turned from Formula One to sports cars. The result, four Le Mans victories, two World Sports Car Championships, today an MBE. The same honour for Sandy Lyle, whose main exploits came in 1985, winning the British Open, the first British winner for 11 years, and having a big hand in Europe winning the Ryder Cup. I always thought it went to actors of very famous names and scientists and things, and... And obviously it's a great surprise to me and I feel very pleased.
towards the end of the year is the Ryder Cup in America. Again, your thoughts on that? It's going to be a lot of interest created, especially in America. I know a lot of players are pretty desperate to get into the team and also in this part as well. So I think it's going to be a very close match. For Pat Jennings, who ended an illustrious career at the age of 41 in a Northern Ireland shirt against Brazil at the World Cup in Mexico, an OBE to add to the MBE he, he already has. A measure of his popularity throughout soccer, the Northern Ireland team threw a special party at the end of the tournament just in his honour. Jar Smith, ITN Sport. An unemployed man of 30, Peter Johan Jimlowski, has been remanded in custody until Friday, charged with abducting Catherine Anger, age 19, with intent to have unlawful sex. Catherine went missing on December the 19th and was found four days later when she walked into a bank at Ferndown near Bournemouth. Police tightened security at Chessant's little courthouse for the arrival just before 10 of Peter Johan Kmilowski. The bodybuilder had been arrested after a car accident in Norfolk on Monday in which a baby died. With him in the car was schoolgirl Samantha Etridge, who was reunited with her parents last night. Milovsky, who lives in Palmer's Green, North London, was covered with a blue jacket as he left the police van. Flanked by three detectives, Kmilovsky...